Hopefully it doesn't. It's just crap internet. <sighs> but yeah, chat brow, I don't know when it cut out at. Again, I'm used to my camera being up over here. Wait, that's why I keep going that way. Um, in my eggs, brow tint. It's the second thing I do. And it's in the color blonde because I'm doing poison ivy. Make sure I'm doing the right character. <laughs> like, what am I doing again? So I have very, very light eyebrows. You can barely see them. You can tell I have eyebrows, but you can't, like, see the hair or anything. So this just gives out a little bit of color. Not to go too heavy-handed. I still want it to look natural. I sniff a lot. I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to cat. Uh, we have a lot of cats. There's that. And this brush is dirty. Don't look at it. You don't need to see it. It's just a spoolie brush. And then I just even it out. Gross. Clean your brushes, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, beautiful, done, gorgeous, gorgeous. <sighs> oh yeah, we have a lot of cats, and I just developed this allergy back before Christmas, so twenty to eight years. No, no allergy to cats, animals, anything like that. Bam, hit by a ton of bricks. So, what are you gonna do? What am I going to do next? So next I'm going to do eyeshadow. And that's where... Should I put some concealer? I saw this in the tutorial. I put concealer instead of primer on their eyelids. I would have been so impressed if I pulled out the right thing. The first try. Um, but they did concealer instead of... Just, instead of just primer. And that way you could see the eyeshadow better. I think I might do that. Let's try it. And that's what cause tests are for, is to iron out any wrinkles or whatnot that, or hiccups that you don't want in your cosplay look, and decide on what you do want to do for your, the convention for your cosplay look, so let's dab a little bit on there. You might wonder why I didn't put concealer anywhere else. I don't use it. I don't use foundation, concealer. I just have good skin, and I don't want to clog those pores up with um, makeup, with, like, foundation and makeup. Nothing wrong with it, but I have it to cover, to make as well scar and potentially cover tattoos that I have, but it hasn't really worked on that front. really could have used the concealer brush inside my finger, but I'm, I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to do that in real life either. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I tell you I do something fancy all the time, and I don't. You got ten fingies, so you know you. You got them you. That is all up in my lashes. I do, I think I need it, I forgot why I was at Target today. I do think I'm going to get false lashes for this look, and I wish I had grabbed them because then I could try them out today. I also forgot to go to Michael's, too. I went to Joann's and Target. Got what I needed at Joann's. Got almost everything except the lashes at Target, and just completely forgot to go to Joann's. I mean, I got Girl Scout cookies, so... I, I mean, that's just a win there. Speaking of Girl Scout cookies, are they, like, not as good as normal? So I got the Savannah Smiles, and they have a weird aftertaste this year. They're just powdered sugar lemon cookies. They shouldn't... You know, it's got, like, that Diet Coke aftertaste. You know what I mean? But this is just a brow gel that I normally would have put on right now. It's called Icon Iconic Brows. It's a clear brow setting gel, so your eyebrows don't just do whatever they want. And, yeah. Just put a little bit on there. It helps shape them a little bit, too. Give you some sense of control. I don't know about you guys, but my eyebrows do whatever they want. No matter what I do to them. Okay. 
And, like, my internet going out like it has been is why I haven't been streaming. Um, Final Fantasy in the last week, because I've tried three days in a row, and my internet's like, no, 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 I'm not going to work. So I got this new green color. It's a Super Shock Shadow. It is an Empire. It's really sparkly green. I'll swatch it. This is the first eyeshadow I've used from them. I've used, like, a ton of their lipsticks and stuff. The first eyeshadow, though. Oh, I messed up the scales. The scaly look. I mean, it's gonna happen, but still. It doesn't seem like there's too much fallout, either. <sighs> Terrible angle. There we go. It's more gray, like that. But it's, it's green, I promise it is green. This is just a bad camera. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do that as my base. It might be the only color I use. I'm not sure yet. Let me bring up a reference picture. I didn't delete it. No, there it is. I might just need to do like a gray or something. Let me see. So it's like really green and black. I won't get green contacts, because I feel like it. Yeah. That should be enough. Now, don't judge me. I'm not, I don't wear eyeshadow on the regular, so we can clean it up afterwards, okay? It'll be fine. And not, not a whole lot of fallout, so that's nice. It did get in my eye, though. <laughs> the concealer trick worked maybe I'll post um I'll take a picture of it and post it on the socials so it'll you can actually see what it looks like if I do this can you no not really I need to get a new one but it's not the top of my priority list at the moment it's just the one that came with the computer I need on the brush get on my eyeball Okay. I mean, at least you can tell that there's something there. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up. Why am I so shaky? Alright, so I have two other palettes over here. Let's see if I want to use. Yeah, hey, get off my fur. Yeah, I think the concealer trick worked because you see it on my 
swatch. I really wish this camera was better, but you can like see the green coming through more, which is nice. So I think I'm going to use, I have this Bessemer palette. It is the Peggy Carter one. So it looks like a British passport, even though I think British passports are like a maroon-ish color. Maybe I'm thinking Australia, I don't know. Um, I'm going to use this one right here. It's like shimmery golden green in the corners. I should have been in my eyeball. So I'm going to use an eyeliner brush. Just to get in those little corners. And this does have a lot of fallout, so I noticed that dampening the brush um, helps keep from that getting everywhere. I don't think, I know they don't have the Peggy Carter um, collection anymore on their website. I got it at New York Comic Con back in October. But they have a lot of other amazing products, so. Yeah. They have like um, Peter Pan one right now, I think, and they have like a, the Mermaid Lagoon set up. It's really cute. I'm just going to go right there in the corner and kind of fan into the lash. Not the lash line. The, like, not full middle of the edge, but just kind of make it give, like, an ombre look. You guys know what that means, don't you? Sure. Like, fade it out. Right, and then fade it out. Just give it some, dy not dynamics, dimension. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't want to take what's already there off. And it's called Allies, is the color name. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So I am kind of getting, um, is it Batman and Robin, where Poison Ivy's part of the villain plan? Like, the 1992 Tim Burton. <laughs> Trying to remember. That's the vi vibes I'm getting. Uma Thurman was Poison Ivy. Trying to get those vibes of the wig I got too, because it looked darker online. But the other wig I got for it looks like Ariel, so I'm just like, well, what a girl gonna do? Do I want to use any of the browns from this palette? I don't know. There is stuff in my eyeball. Ugh. I'm still making sure everything looks good on Twitch's end. I'm getting glitter out of my eyeball. Ow! <laughs> Gotta turn up the game. You hear it? One thing I bring to cons for multiple reasons. If I'm having to wear eyeshadow, it is eye drops because it hits my eyes so easily. One reason I don't wear it all the time. I'd like to wear it more. Is that still late? One thing I bring to Ah, for multiple, multiple reasons, reason, if I'm having to wear eyeshadow, it, it is eye drops, drops because it's, it's my eyes so, so easy. One reason I wear it all the time, I like to wear more. No, you can't hear the music at all. I wear more. I don't care. I'm not streaming Final Fantasy XV. That is the opposite of what I'm doing, Twitch. Well, it's not the opposite. I guess the opposite would be another game, but that's not what I'm dealing. Fix your sale. Fix it. Jesus, fix it. Yeah, cosplay stuff. I'm streaming cosplay stuff. I'm not streaming game. I'm not streaming no games. I'll put it in the just talking category, so it's or chatting category. There. 
cool beans that's going. This hasn't dropped yet, thankfully. So. Cool, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. I will use, how about I use a brown in the crease? I'm actually, I'm already liking this more than I did the first one I did. That was grammar, right? So I'm going to do setting zero matter or this, this one or this one. <laughs> I'm going to go to the darker one. I at least want to hear the music. I don't know if you can. My mic sucks. I know it clips a lot. Ugh. Well, it is why I, I haven't been using Streamlabs, just because it's connected to this camera and mic in the computer, and it's not great, and I haven't figured out how to set up my good camera and mic, so I'm getting there. I, fi I mean, I'm, I, I figured out halfway to getting there. <laughs> I'm not tech savvy, so there's a big learning curve. I'm just gonna not do that. That was gross. Try to use the side of the brush. Should've used the little brushes I have for um, also a scar. Make a scar with. That's okay. It does give it some definition. We'll say that. Oh. Making it worse at this point. That's not too bad on that side. Not great. Like I said, I'll clean it up. Shut up. <laughs> oh. And the good thing about this not being a good camera, you can't see how badly this actually looks. If you want um, more better, more better quality um, tutorials and stuff, they're they're on my website. They're my website, my YouTube. I it's my website now. Okay, I've claimed it. We'll make it better. <laughs> I don't want that one. It still has a little bit of juice. In it. Over. Oh, it got taken off. I should have done the crease second or third instead of the brown. Whatever. That's life. Boots life. So I'm going to use this little um, cleaning. It's called Control Z, even though that means copy. Because if you do Control Z, it copies things, whatever. Or no, deletes things. Control Z. Oh, what? Oh, never mind. I was thinking Control Delete. It's been a rough week, okay? Shh, shh. Been sick. There's a lot going on. Feeling anxiety about a lot of things, so you know. Shh. It's a um, it's basically a little thing that's got makeup in the room. So I can tidy this up. It was never there. Okay, still shop, calm down. your fingies. Get a little bit of excess. I don't want to waste a makeup wipe on this. Where's my lipstick? I thought I put it up. I think it's in the bathroom. I'll go get it in a little bit. Because we all know I have to pee every 20 minutes. So I'll get it when I have to pee in there. May have removed too much. That side's 
I think my blood pressure is high today. I'm really surprised it hasn't dropped. I'm glad it hasn't. I mean, it did that one time. But we don't talk about that one time. Okay, I don't hate it. Now for the eyelid, so go back home. Go home. I use Fenty's fly, fly liner in Cousin Black. It is really good. I like it a lot. Um, one thing, one criticism I do have of it: if you like blink or anything like that before it dries down, it will get up here. At least it does on me, which is annoying. But after it dies down, it's amazing. No, I'm not gonna do a dramatic eye. Just because my eye shape doesn't like it doesn't look good with winged the winged eyeline. And like by all means, I love a good, sexy, winged eyeline, but it just, it looks weird on me. I don't, I don't care for it. So, I'm going to go with a slightly thick eyeline, but nothing too dramatic. And I go as close to the lash line as I can and kind of just build up from there. And probably have to put more shadow on the... <laughs> Lord. See this wig being heavy? My friend just sent me a picture. She's doing Bazette for the con we're going to next weekend. She got this long ass wig from Arda. And like that eyeline look that I'm doing, I don't know if you can tell, um, is what I do every day. My everyday eyeline. Bring this up a little bit. And next will be, why are my eyes lids burning? <laughs> Good. It's the concealer or it's probably what I mean when it's all up here. It doesn't dry down. <laughs> One good thing about this camera is that since it's angled up, you don't see the mess that is my, my room and my workspace. <laughs> It looks good though. Have I already been streaming for 30 minutes? What? Yes. Not possible. I also do dumb weird voices. Oh. Who I am, leave me alone. Alright, so I think I'm done with the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. A little touch with those corners just a little bit. The BB cream's all dried up from my. But I don't wear that anymore either. But 
I used to. Um, my Pikachu Tony Moly package, but it's too cute to throw away, and it's a good mirror. Why? Why I throw it away? Because it's gross and expired. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Why did I close it? I'm not going to it. So, next, mascara. And this is where I'm trying to decide if I want to get fake lashes, which I've never used before, or just use mascara. I think the I think fake lashes would be more dramatic. And this is Two Faces Better Than Sex. It's pretty good, though. I'm almost out. I try so hard not to make a face when I'm putting on mascara. If I feel up to it after all this cosplay stuff and it's not too late, I might try streaming some Final Fantasy. Just for funsies. I do want to finish the main storyline. Um, and considering I'm only a quarter of the way through it um, before the Arden episode comes out. So. It's what I want to do, but just depends on how long this goes. Which I will have to turn off Streamlabs and all that because... My technology doesn't talk to each other right now. Um, gotta th I, got, I know how to make it talk to each other, it just doesn't want to talk to each other. I feel like I've been pretty good about not making a weird face by putting this on. I'm just trying to get that little lash right over there. Ooh, who is she? Next is highlighter. Now I debated on the highlighter, but I think I'm going to use another ColourPop product. And it is their Luster Dust, just for fun. And it's a loose one. Try not to make a mess like I just did. There's highlighter all over my computer now, so I'll just use that. <laughs> hey, waste not, want not. <laughs> I should do it. Uh, so I go from like the temples eye line to through my cheekbones because I don't use blush either. The only thing I use because I have a natural pinky complexion. I have really scored in the whole skin. Um, health area, not so much, but I got the skin. Got the good skin. That sounds so creepy. <laughs> so, so creepy. Um, put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I like that. It's subtle, but there's still something there. And I'm using a fan brush that I got from Target. I got all these Target, all these brushes from Target. Except, uh, well, you're, I'm not even using them, so never mind. Oh, well, the NYX one I got from Ulta. The black one. It's fully dirty. It's fully brush. All of these are dirty, but shh. We don't need that negativity, okay? I am going to go grab lipstick. I really hope it's in the bathroom and I'll be right back. It's not in the bathroom. In here. Yes, it is. Okay, good. It 
Technology. And it is Fenty's Stunna Paint and Uncensored. You get her new colors. She came out like, what, five new colors? I need all of them. I have the black one. So I only need the four new colors. Shit. For a reason. My half birthday is coming up. April 14th. I'll be 28 and a half. <laughs> Remember when we were kids and the half was so, so important. As you get older and you're like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm 25. Nah, I look like I'm maybe 16, so I don't lie about my age. People think I'm lying about my age when I tell them my age. I'm like, I'm 28. I was born in 1990. I promise you, like, I've had to get my license out before. Even, like, I wasn't just talking to a coworker. <laughs> they didn't believe me at all. I still think they don't believe me, but... <laughs> Put way too much on, it's gonna be goofy now. Cause you really only need one swatch of this. And this one's all like, mm, not so good. Let's try and clean up the edges on my damn mess. All right, and that's it for the makeup look. I wanted you to go, I go pretty simple. My, the most detailed makeup look I have is probably Oswa since I magically grow a beard. Um, so there's that. I'm getting the wig. Oh, here's the wig on the thing. I'm not a fan of the colors. I mean, it does look like kind of like the color from the animated series, but it looks a lot more like Maris. Not Maris. Yeah, that's her name, Maris. From Aquaman. God, that wig was terrible. That's my only critique about that movie, is that their wigs were awful. But all this money in the CGI and just like, didn't give the costume department anything to go on. <laughs> we'll see. And I have two other wigs I want to try with this look, too. But my, I have a Black Widow wig, and first wig I bought for this, but it's very Ariel, like. Perks of having short hair. <laughs> I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love with I like the style. The style is perfect. Except I need to curl the, these under them to look a bit better. Mm -hmm. There's my hairline. I'm not in, I'm not thrilled with it, you know? And I don't hate the look. Ugh. Look like Wednesday Adams that way. <laughs> Curled her hair. Check these messages because it's just gonna keep vibrating. And my Ozawa hair tie. The only reason I have hair ties is for Ozawa. Or a clip or something. I don't just stay back there. <laughs> <laughs> we could go to it anyways. I might not be going to the, um, I'm going to, I think it's called Mississippi, Mississippi Anime Con in Jackson, Mississippi next weekend. Um, but I also am going to be getting gallbladder surgery next week, so... And since I have a kidney transplant, everything's a bit, like, ten times more difficult than it normally would be. Just because you have to go into surgery, you gotta, um, watch out where you're going, basically, so you don't mess up the kidney. And then aftercare and stuff like that. And I have to get it done up at Emory, which is two hours away from here. Because the doctor down here didn't feel safe doing it. 
because you don't want to mess with the kidney. I'm like, that's fair. As long as it gets taken care of. I'm honestly surprised. Like, the last three days, I was nauseous as hell, so I feel almost back to normal today, which is nice. <laughs> my friend's like, last minute cosplay. I'm like, that's all my cosplay. <laughs> And Steffi, if you watch this when you're getting ready for work, hi. Have a great day. I love you. I know she will, she'll watch my streams back um, in the morning before work. Because that's support. Support your friends. Love them. Be hot. Another reason I will not grow my hair out. It's hot. I don't like it touching my ears. Oh, fun. Go over here. Let me finish this thought process and we'll try on another one. <laughs> There's also one in Savannah. We can go to at the end of the month. We do miss this one. We could go to both. Savannah's only three hours away. This lipstick's great. Don't put too much on though. A little it makes it because if you put too much on, it makes it a little tacky. And I'll start coming off. So this was the original wig I got for it because it looked different on Amazon than it did when I got it. The color's right, but let's see in a second. <laughs> maybe, maybe. E? No, I'm gonna look in here. Now, it's on properly. I want to mention that it is on properly. Kind of, sort of. See what I mean by it looks very Ariel-esque? Because of this. And then it's got like this big bump right here. For no reason. I'm not a fan. It didn't look like this at all. I mean, I bought it and it wasn't in ringlets. And it showed, I don't know. It's not a bad wig. I mean, it was a cheap one off of Amazon. I don't like this one. <laughs> Not gonna be using this one. And then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see how this black widow wig I have looks. My it's not my first cosplay, but my back first back into doing cosplay cosplay wig or black widow was it. So I have a few black widow wigs. She's pretty done herself. This is much more of a natural color. I got this one off of Etsy. No, no, I didn't. This is a uh, art away. Actually, don't hate it. It kind of is reminiscent of the style that it is in um, the animated series where Poison Ivy has a, it's a little bit longer, it's like here, but like a bob. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't hate it. I, didn't, I need to um, clean her. That's gross. <laughs> but <laughs> Don't enter rest mode. Can't see anything. Early 2005s. So don't look at me. Ah. Okay, I'm going to rest. 
horseman. I don't know if I'm going to style that way. I don't feel like styling that way. I'll show you the embroidery because that needs to be done. And get that shit done by no one gone. Oh, damn. I mean, that's not till May, but when does this shit stay? I mean, I use a wide tooth comb for my wiggies. Sometimes a brush, depends on what I'm doing, but the brush is really rough on it. So. Wide tooth comb. Pretty much everything I use, I get either at Target or the dollar store. That looks a tiny bit better. Hold it down. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I need to wash her, but I might use people's gloves. I think it's just like styling product I put in it. Did you? <laughs> but yeah, you need wash, babe. You're you're gross. I kinda feel I kinda dig this one actually. I think the color's closer. Um and it's already kinda wavy. All I have to do is kind of curl it a little bit at the ends. And wash it. So I'm gonna I'll bring this one in, the first one. The first one, the length is right, the shape is right, the color's just off. So that is the poison ivy cause test. We worked through it. That took nearly a damn hour. Nearly an hour. And that is a Glenda Way from Arda. But the first one, no, the first one also came from Arda. The second one came from Amazon, and the third one came from Arda. You can tell the quality difference. Obviously, I clean this mess up so we can do some embroidery stuff. My thing, I'm just going to go one to one back. Yeah, this brush is going to be fine. But everything else is just going to be fine. You go back in the bathroom where you belong. I wear that fairly regularly. Now, I may have to move you. We'll see in a minute. <laughs> then, depending on where I get, I might stream for an hour and a half. And then I'll switch over to Final Fantasy. I'll go eat something and then switch over to Final Fantasy. You won't see my beautiful face anymore. It's so sad. I didn't even use my blue. I normally blend out my um, highlighter and I didn't do that. Not matters. I'm going to take all this right back off. I'm not going anywhere tonight. Me and my friends, we don't really drink anymore. We used to. Our bodies just aren't the same. That's life. Okay. How clean. Ugh, that's a This room is a damn mess. That damn mess. Make sure everything's still good on the Twitch side. It is cool beans. Cool beans. I am not. Why did you not update? I'm not streaming Final Fantasy 15. I will be. I'm working on Final Fantasy 15. I think my jig. But. Me and technology. Me and technology. Alright. My hair's really soft. Super soft. I said reflexes would burn the hell out of my throat. Hmm. Let me get my stuff from Joy. Where you be? Are all these ladies some Girl Scout cookies? I'm not streaming Final Fantasy 15. I've changed it to just chatting. Why? Why don't you stay? Because I didn't press update information. Duh. I'm a damn mess, you guys. I'm a damn mess. Okay, we'll fix it up here. <laughs> the whole stream me yelling at technology. Okay. I wonder why my room is such a mess. 
So what the needle I'm using right now is it is an embroidery needle and I want a preference. I'm not good at embroidery. First thing I ever embroidered was a Sydney hat, which excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Oh. Sydney hat. I do not know what that's on. It looks great with the wig. Um, but nope, this way. Did the all that, all these lines. Took about a week to do. Pain in the ass. Um first thing I embroidered. God I love it. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's insensitive. It's not terrible, but it's just insensitive. <laughs> um so I'm a horrible person. So that's the first thing I embroidered by hand. Oh, I'm doing that with the boots. I was using the same needle, but it's a pain in the ass because they, these are the boots. I painted the bottoms because they were tan and her boots are black. Actually, motherfucker, are they not? I'm looking right now. No, they're just dusty. They are black. They're blackish brown, tan. So, yeah, they're just like dusty. Um. Which ones I walk in these, they'll start to kind of look like that, so. It'll be good. I had boots. Um, I hadn't done anything. They slid on instead of being zippers, because hers are slip-ons. But they hurt my feet so much that I'm just now finishing growing out the bruise it gave my one of my toes. So, that was super fun. I couldn't walk, like, five minutes in them. They hurt so much. I was, like, just shuffling around Dragon Con. So, I bought these. They're a bit better. I'm, I don't walk in heels. Um, I have bad knees, so it's not good for me to walk in heels. And I just never really bothered to learn how. I prefer flats or a cute sneaker or something like that. Or boot. By boot, I mean like an ankle booty. But, um, yeah, so I got these. And these don't slide on, so they're not 100% accurate. But I'm going to take comfort over Accuracy, if I can have both accuracy and comfort, A+. Plus. But, if not, I don't. So I was using this needle. It's the, I don't, I, I threw away the packaging without thinking about it. So I was using this, and this is the thread. Um, but I went to Joanne's and found, my normal camera's over here, like I said. Found these. I'm going to try to use this curved one because they're meant for leather. Um, and I don't know the names of any needles. I've, I've not embroidered before doing that. I, I think it's amazing. It's definitely a skill. It looks great. And the paint I used to make them black was the multi-surface, indoor-outdoor, black acrylic paint, apple barrel. I either got it at Joanne's or Michael's. I think highlighter went up my nose. And right now, I'm seam ripping it because in, these are like a vinyl P PVC kind of feel. So you got to be really careful because it can rip. I've ripped it in a few places already. Just trying to pull the needle through. So I'm hoping since these are meant for le leather and it's curved, it might be a little bit easier. We're going to see. If it doesn't work well, I have the regular needles. So. And it's just the one that's got the biggest hole on the, the butt. I know that has a proper name, but honestly, a smaller needle would probably work better for these, but I don't have answers. So I'm going to try to, I'm seeing burning it from the inside because it just wasn't curved the way I wanted it to be. go very gently. I got most of it done. Right here. Trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Instead of yanking at it like I normally would, I'm kind of sawing at it so I don't tear the fabric. It's a giant gaping hole. That would suck. These boots were $45 off of Amazon. Um, I typed in white go-go boots. I think they are 
future, future Tasma or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, the other ones I got off of Amazon too, I think. I don't remember they were. Um, I already donated them. I'll show you them. Hopefully somebody won't go through the pain I went through. I didn't want to throw them away because they'd only been worn once. But I also don't want somebody to suffer, so. They weren't good. And I used tweezers to kind of pull out the loose threads. I hate that sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. Ugh. It's teeth grating. I'm very quiet when I'm doing this because I have to focus and not try to rip anything. I feel like I'm really quiet in general and then I'll start getting into playing a video game, streaming a video game, and I'll talk incessantly. Like a lot of my videos on YouTube, I talk incessantly. I'm like, since when? Since when were you like this? Have you always been like this? And just nobody bothered to tell you? I told you to shut up? Pink fluff everywhere. I'll show you the um, thread I'm using in a minute. I get it all from the embroidery section at Joanne's, so. I know it's embroidery stuff. You're not a real person. The tiny little holes in this. Um, well, I mean, all fabric, if you put a hole in it, it has a hole in it. But with vinyl, you can see it. Instead of the fibers being able to stretch back together and cover it up. That's why you gotta be very, very careful. We're making the, um, I'm doing the modded version. Her jacket, let me grab her jacket. It's falling apart. It's literally held together with um, safety pins I'm wondering under at this point. We did the jacket, and I want to redo the jacket. I keep it in a bag because the dye didn't take very well to the leather. Um, so it gets on everything. But you see, like, it's... Dude, it's a trash bag, and not, it's, like, starting to come apart. Like, pocket and stuff like that. I just took it out for you. I mean, it's really good. I like it. Especially since we did it in a week. If the, <laughs> the week before Dragon Con. Um, so I got these bits off. No, shoot. You know what? I'm actually pretty pro This is the first jacket I've ever made. First cosplay. Well, it's not the first cosplay I've, sh I've shown together. It's a lot. But the first one I did wasn't really cosplay. We just made um, a silver skirt and for AWA back in like 2010. I, th I was thinking about it earlier. I think the first convention I went to was, um, oh yeah, we did stitch that down, was AWA in Atlanta, Anime Week in Atlanta. My friend's like, do you want to come with me? We need an extra person for the room. I'm like, sure, I've never been to a convention. That sounds fun. It's like, okay, well, you need a costume. <laughs> um, so we took this from a different jacket. It is so hard to find ribbing. Like, why can't I find ribbing anywhere? The jacket, the zipper's from that jacket, too, because it was long enough. And then this is, I got the fabric off of Mood Fabrics. And I, the fabric is perfect. It just did not want to take the yellow dye. And see, like the strips. <laughs> we didn't have time to sew them on. We didn't, and we didn't have, her heavy duty sewing machine was is missing the plate and i didn't have mine yet so i got mine for my birthday so this is the original fabric that this is too that we made the stripes from and then this is final it's from joann's 
Got these off of Etsy. These Joann's belt material. And then this is just some she had some bias tape that I painted white for the collar. And I think she had this fabric too. And then we have inter a thick interfacing in the collar to give it some structure. And then this is the patch. We used um, Wonder Under and some white fabric, a different type of white fabric, and I hand drew all of that, which I'm very proud of. Well, I sketched it, but I can't draw, and sketching's not very easy for me either. So I'm pretty proud about how it turned out. It could be better. The markers were drying out. We used Sharpie fabric dye markers, but it's not too shabby. I'm going to be, um, when we make the, when we make this jacket, I'll be taking this apart, so enjoy it while you can. It's falling apart. Like, it's... <laughs> We didn't even sew the pockets on, you guys. These are actual pockets. We just, this is hot glue. I hot glued it on because that's how much time we had. I mean, I think it turned out pretty great. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Oh, this came from that other jacket too. And yeah, but I'm pretty happy with it. But, so instead of making the jacket right now, we're making the, we're making a jumpsuit version like a mechanics jumpsuit version that i saw off of the stream community pc version site for modding and i i need to go I, I need to find it so i can actually show you guys and credit the person who made it i did not make the modification i don't have to do that um i want to really bad actually i'm like i'm being stacked now what the hell um, but it's not gone. It hurts a lot. Ow. It's really uncomfortable. Glass or something. Um, but so we're doing a jumpsuit. I've dyed it yellow. We've taken it in and we've hemmed it and we've gotten, it has strips of red that go right through here. And so that's what we're doing now. We finished one side of it. We have the other side. Um, then we got to do the arms and we did, there's a belt, a red middle bit that we've done and we just gotta it will only take like an hour to finish all of this maybe two but life <laughs> and i actually recorded all this part of it um, but it's all on her phone that'll go up eventually on the youtubes but yeah so i wanted to show you that to compare i don't have the other thing to show you to compare it's all in her house we're doing a jumpsuit though so i got a dickie's jumpsuit off of a long sleeve one off of Amazon, dyed it yellow. I had to bleach the hell out of it twice. Use lightener. It was a khaki one. I couldn't find a white one to dye because it would have been too easy. Um, I'm sure they exist. I mean, I found painter's ones. That's what I was going to do in the first place. But it, um, they were all short sleeve that I could find. Which doesn't make sense if you're painting. A long sleeve would make more sense. But whatever. I just make cosplay, not clothes. Okay, I'm gonna put this up. But yeah, I had to use a RIT lightener, like the RIT dye, but it's a fabric lightener. And I got it to a good point, and then I used a synthetic yellow dye from right in the regular dye that was meant for heavier clothing. And that seemed to work. It is quite yellow. And we're just gonna add those little details on, and I finish the boots, and it's done. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, it should be done by now, but we've been half-assing it, <laughs> and kind of just like hanging out, and we should do this, and then we get around to being like, oh, we should do this, and it's just like, oh, well, it's 10 o'clock, I'm going home. Low wave. Pull my pants up. I see your ass in here. What do you want, Twitter? Twitter? I, I'm being stabbed in my eyeball. I don't know if you can hear this music. I'm jamming out to it. Oh, 
Oh my god, water is starting hurting a little bit. Now that I know what it is, like, okay. So I was having this really bad pains right here, off and on. And they're like, yeah, we think it's gallbladders. And I got an ultrasound, and they're like, yeah, it's gallbladders. Or gallstones, rather. Gallbladders. You only have one of them. Oh my god. The fuck? That's a little bit better. Alright, just have a few more to take out. Let me see what I'm doing. Okay, it's registering that it's picking up the music. Whatever. Whatever. I know this actually does have a proper song to it. Or a proper title. I don't remember what it is. I love Final Fantasy's music. So good. Somus and the, the, well, the instrumental as well, but the end of the game one. And... Stand By Me gets me every time. I cry every single time. And like, I, the job I used to work at, they would play three different versions of it. Oh, I didn't even, I've been talking to myself. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> I'm not used to having people in chat. Um, I am currently cosplaying, well, this next, that's a complicated that's a question, but I love it. Uh, I'm working on Sydney's boots for Sydney Aram, and I'm in, I've done her classic look from the game, and so now I'm doing a modded version where she's in a jumpsuit, and that's what I'm currently working on. But uh, next weekend I will be Azawa, um, from a, a Razorhead from My Hero, for a convention I'm going to, and then I would love to uh, cosplay as Mario. <laughs> and um the makeup look was a cause test for poison ivy thing i'm doing i mean i could do a mario one that wouldn't be hard to do at all it'd be a lot of fun i just have to get a red shirt overalls and a hat i'm 411 so i'm actually shorter than mario <laughs> mario's what five two or something five three And right now I'm just trying to take out the, the, st the stitching, um, the embroidery I already did because I messed it up. It's not where I want it to be. I'm just trying to go very, very carefully on this. And welcome. I'm Christy. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm not used to having people in chat, so I was kind of surprised. I was like, okay. But, um, like I was saying earlier, I'm very quiet when it comes to doing this, just, um, to see. Or just to focus. Um, I am not employed. Like, cosplay-wise, no, I'm doing this for fun. I would love to do be employed for that and do it, um, properly, but I quit my job at a grocery store, as ma um, managing grocery store. Mm. Well, not, I was lower management for another job that was supposed to pay me more and be really great but i'm not entirely sure it was legal so like the first day they said some things that i was really uncomfortable with and i'm like i'm gonna leave i'm not gonna do that um and this mic sucks so if you can't hear me i'm sorry um well i mean it's not like as there's no such thing as a cosplay job i mean you're right like, you're not going to sit in an office and do anything, but you can get paid to um, go to conventions and model and do things at conventions and stuff like that. Um, it just takes a lot to get there and just, like, um, make fabrics and stuff like that and do commissions, which I don't do that stuff, obviously. So I just, it's just a hobby right now. But I thought I'd share what I, oh, I'd love to work in front of a computer the rest of my life. Be so fun. Like a cubicle job? Fuck that. Fuck it. I'm using tweezers to get the, um... I have trouble finishing thoughts. So, uh, to get the little bits of 
thread out so I don't rip anything because it's very delicate fabric. Doesn't like cold and stuff. Sonic would be really difficult. Well, it wouldn't be really difficult. It just, I don't know how I would go about it. Would I do body paint or messenger's question? Which one? My friend is doing Bowsette browse browse for the weekend. My favorite Mario character is Yoshi. Which tattoo do you want to see? I have four. I have stop that you can't see. Stop hate. I have a peace sign. And then let me see here. I don't know if I can get my I have coexist right here, but I can't get my sleeve up. And I have I don't think you can see it. Nope. An elephant on that shoulder. Those are my tattoos. Cool. That seems like a solid idea. Definitely a good investment of your money and time. <laughs> if I don't respond to the text message, it'll keep buzzing at me. Again, I'm not used to having people in chat, so welcome. I hope you've had a great day. You're having a good Friday. If you have a great weekend, if you have any plans. Um, just talking about cosplay stuff. Um, after I get to a point where I just feel like stopping, I'm going to stop this stream and then I'm going to jump over and do, play some Final Fantasy 15. And like I was saying earlier, if my internet will let me, it's been really bad lately. But, um, I can't get Streamlabs to talk to my PlayStation. I know there's a way how, I have it set up to do so, but it just doesn't like me. Um, so, yeah. Eh. And I'm playing um, Final Fantasy 15 right now, so I can do, I want to do the whole storyline, and then do Arden's DLC when it comes out, instead of just, just doing the DLC. But I have a ton of other games picked out to do. Um, could be both. I don't know. Um, but I identify as a woman. Um, I have the attention span of a two-year-old. Not get those little pieces out. I don't know if you can do that. Really annoying. I just got this one more, and then I can actually start back to embroidering it. If I pull anymore, I don't know. Rip the fabric. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I have a ton of games I plan on playing. Um, I'm I have. 10 years of games to catch, catch up on at least because I just went off to college and just focused on that and tried to get a career and go in and all that good stuff but I'm like and Final Fantasy got me back into playing so that's why I want to do it on stream too and can't get the thing <laughs> I have this one little, one little piece does not want to come out. There. That's better. Yeah. 
There we go. See, so, unfortunately with this fabric, it leaves a lot of holes when you do that. But, um, so I'm going to use these. There are some, it says repair needle pack. I got it in the leather section at Joann's. So I'm going to try to use that. See how this works. I can get it open. Maybe. Almost. Not still all over four. Okay. And the thread I'm using is BMC's cotton puerile. It says five on the back. I know very little about embroidery. Pretty much nothing about embroidery. But it's got to be done. And so that's going to go on this curved needle I'm hoping will help. So one thing I've learned with, like, when I made the Sydney hat, I don't know if you guys saw it, I made the Sydney hat, all this, uh, that after a while, it will... The thread will wear down and like get frayed and frizzy and then it'll break. So you can't, you gotta stop and start a bunch, but it looks nicer if you do. It just takes a long time. So the fun part is starting a needle. Do, do, do. I know. Quality content. Wallet. <laughs> Lipstick all over everything. Now, I've not used a needle like this before. So, a little, a little different, a little awkward. Get under. Hi, how are you doing today? Having a good Friday, having a good weekend? I am um, trying to do some embroidery on my Sydney boots from Sydney Arm from Final Fantasy XV. If I can get this needle threaded, I'm very shaky, which does not help. I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, uh, this things I like to hear. Can you see how shaky I am? Rough, fam. Maybe like 10 minutes of me just trying to thread this thing, I swear. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe did I get it? A part of it. Come on. Come on. I'm very shaky, which doesn't help. There we go. Did it. And I used to tie my thread down around the end bit here. But that makes it harder to go through the fabric and not the proper way to do it. So you make a loop towards the top and then I just looked at the viewer count like five people. What? Thank you. I really appreciate that. I don't I'm not entertaining or anything, but yeah. hopefully you learned something. And now if I can get this tied, we'll be good to go. Nice sturdy knot. Try to make sure it's small as you can though, but also tight because you don't want it to come apart. 
right in the middle of your sewing. So I haven't used a needle like this, so we're going to see how this goes. It looks like a torture implement, honestly, like something you see in a horror movie, like the, somebody's eyes shut or something. Kind of terrifying. <laughs> It's supposed to be good for leather in the last, I was having a lot of, that's why I'm only this, I started working on this yesterday around 4 p.m. And I'm only this far because that needle was such a pain in the ass. Um, already goes through a lot smoother. It's also a brand new needle. That needle hadn't been used either. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. It's kind of the purpose of this. Okay, we need to go through the fabric. Ah, my hands are sweaty like mom's spaghetti. I have a cat that does that. She just sits around and goes, hmm, her little tongue out. It's so cute. Hands a little shy. I know. Okay, well. I'm struggling, you guys. That's not unusual. Okay. I have to go back to the other needle. I don't know if you, I still don't know if you can hear that music. I cut it through. I'm just trying to. I think I'm gonna go back to the other needle. Maybe. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna stab myself with this thing. I don't wanna go to the emergency room. <laughs> have to explain that I stabbed myself embroidering <laughs> for the whole internet to see. That's not going to work. Come here. My thread bunched up. See, this has been the problem, is getting that knot through the hole I made. Should be fine. Ugh. Yeah, this needle's just, I can't get a good grip on it. So. <laughs> Where'd that other needle go? Do I want to use one of these big ass needles? Why is it still saying I'm streaming Final Fantasy 15? I'm not. I will be in a little bit if my internet will let me. I'm doing it right now. I'm gonna go back to the needle I was using. It's already threaded too, so that helps. I can even get a better grip with it. There we go. Needle let me down. Ten dollars for that damn needle. Let me down. So I don't do my um starting stitch correctly but basically I do the I go through the fabric make two little holes to whatever length I need it to be and then I lay down the little tail bit and then cross back over it and then instead of just pulling the fabric all the way It doesn't get stuck somewhere like that. I will go through the hole like so. And pull it to a knot. That way it's not going to go anywhere.
and just cut that little tail close to the knot as possible. And you can go about your business. So now I have a set of a gap right there that I'm going to fill in and then um, keep doing this for a little bit. I just want to get around the curve part and actually you can actually start to see a design. Struggling. This part doesn't want to go through. Almost done if it did. That'd be great. I hope my hands are sweaty. I just tapped myself. <laughs> Come on, my dude. There's makeup in my eyeball, that's why I keep making that face because I did a cause test earlier. I'm trying to go how to use your teeth. You used the tools you have. There we go. There's something very satisfying and peaceful once it does go through where it needs to go through. Well. And then you gotta try to sometimes guide it to where it needs to go. Come on, line up. There we go. Now that's not where I wanted to be. There's gonna be red everywhere for my lipstick. Back end of it stabbed me. I would not recommend doing the teeth method. It's not safe. Do as I say, not what I do. I don't want anybody saying, Christy told me I could do this. It was safe, and now I have a hole in my cheek. I did not. Do not put words in my mouth. Do not put that on me. I'm not playing those games. I told you it wasn't safe. Okay. So what I found, the curve part. Um. Is the most difficult on this. So. I had a seamer because I didn't curve it early enough. This is like a vinyl-ish. That's too high up vinyl kind of fabric so it can tear very easily. This area I've worked it so much that it's a little bit easier to go through. Not by a lot. No, I didn't. I'm just gonna get words are hard, my dudes. Sometimes you just gotta get the angle right. I've gotten lipstick on everything.
I want to find a figure out a way to make these not shiny. Hers are very matted, it looks like. Uh, they're a little shiny. So, we'll see. Where did I end up? Trying to get a good angle. It's all about angles with this stuff. How? What did I do? Like, how much can I morph my body into itself? I really don't want to struggle on every single one of these. Oh, I just want to go around a curve and show you like what I'm doing. I'm actually going to stop for dinner in a little bit. That wasn't too bad. Come on, why can't you do that all the time? Yeah, come back here. Oh, why'd you fall out? And there we go. I need like an over the cap shoulder camera or something. I'm only allowed one good normal pull on this thing, apparently. Hi. Then don't use your teeth. Broke the thread. <laughs> okay, well, since we don't want to sit here another five minutes for me to rethread this thing. I will just end it there. This is how far I got so far. So, so far. <laughs> right there. It started like here and now I'm over here. I wanted to go around the corner. What I'll do is um, record me doing the rest of this sped up so you can actually see what I'm doing and talking about with a better camera and all that good stuff. But that was just like basic how to thread a needle and start so a uh, hand sewing thing or embroidery thing um though if you do do hand sewing on something do like a little x stitch it'll hold better which is basically what i did here but um and again i'm, I'm not a professional but i just found little tips and tricks i taught myself how to sew so little tips and tricks here and there i've learned along the way so hopefully it was informative 
did some the makeup took nearly a damn hour, which no idea why it took that long. It does not take that long in real life. I guess because I was stopping and talking or whatnot. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for those of you who actually watched this. I'm really surprised and really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great night, great rest of your night, great weekend, and I will see you guys later. Um, probably maybe 40 minutes or so I might stream some Final Fantasy 15, but not sure yet. I will see you later. Thanks, you guys. Bye.